Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video with me. And today, I'm going to be doing a book review on the book Missing by Lisa Harrison. Well, um, the book is a murder mystery type book about uh, two detectives named Nikki Boyd and Jack Spencer, who are part of the missing persons detective force in Tennessee, set up by the government. It's their job to find missing people. And in the beginning of this book, they get called into a case to find two people. A girl, a boy named Matt Hudson, and his wife, Lucy Hudson. Uh, but the problem is, they find, they then go over to a boat owned by a friend of Nikki's named Tyler Grant, and find Matt Hudson dead. So now, they're on this race to find his wife. And in the book, they find out that Matt was trying to expose people who were entering fake drugs into the drug market for, into well, the medicine market for money. And they didn't want themselves exposed, so that's why they killed him there after his wife and everyone involved. And they do end up finding his wife alive. Um, but it was difficult for them to find her because lots of people with good information ended up dying along the way. Um. This is book two in her series. I haven't read book one, so the fact that I understood everything in the book with little confusion was a big plus side to the book for me because I tend to read things out of order. Um, so I'm not sure how well this carries over to, book, to the other books in the series. But I know that if you wanted to read book two without necessarily reading book one, or you couldn't find book one but still wanted to read the series, um, you could necessarily read book two without having to read book one. But I still suggest you go back and read book one if you can find it. I do recommend this book. It's a great book. It had me um, on the edge of my seat trying to figure out what was going on and even surprised me at the end. Um, I did have a feeling who it was going to be, but I wasn't completely sure. I'm also going to leave who did it up to you to find out, so you to encourage you to go read the book. So yeah, go read the book. Yes, but overall, it was a good book, and I imagine it's a great series, and good murder mystery authors are hard to find these days. So, credit to Lisa Harrison. Great job. There is romance in the book. I found that kind of weird. Not because the romance was written badly, just because it did it did seem kind of rushed. I mean, it's not out of place. It's just it feels like it's just kind of there for the sake of being there. And it's just like, oh, she's in the middle of this story. Oh, she's in the middle of this trying to find this missing person. But oh look. This person she has a crush on shows up, and now we have to have this big whole scene about how much she loves him, but doesn't want to tell him she loves him because his heart's not ready to handle it because his wife had just died. Okay, background. So, Jack Spencer had a wife. Her name was... Not in my book. 
I think it's Katie. Don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, but she died in a boat accident. Like, I think she fell off the book, the, the book, the boat, and died. Because I couldn't put her back on the boat in time. Yeah, but she was Nikki's best friend. And so she hung out with her and Jack all the... Jack. Tyler all the time. Um. And then when she died, she was there to comfort Tyler and help him get through his loss. Um. And eventually she states that she started feeling feelings for him and that his heart's not ready to handle it because he's still moving on from the death of his wife. But, yeah, I just kind of felt out of place. But, I mean, it wasn't bad. Like, it didn't ruin the book at all. It just kind of felt like random. Like, oh, we're trying to find this missing person and we're in a rush because she could be in great danger. But, oh, wait, first let me stop to have this romantic scene with this guy who I'm not even sure likes me. I mean, yes, I get that's like all romance ever, but in this book it just felt random and out of place. In my personal opinion, you might disagree with me, and that's okay, but yeah, romance isn't my thing, so I guess that might be a reason why I didn't like it too much, but, but overall, yes, the book is good. And you should go read it. Um, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um, amazing content. Well, decent content by me. Um, I do not post regularly because I'm a busy person and I always forget. But yes, please, so please subscribe to my channel, and like my video, and leave a comment to what else you want to see on what else you want to see me do. Uh, and you, have a great rest of your day. Bye!